Good morning and welcome to another Wednesday Word. Great to have you here this morning. The word that I want to share with you today, it's a word that I've been thinking a lot about recently. It's a word that I've been hearing a lot or maybe not literally hearing it, but seeing it in action a lot recently. And it's the word fear. The word fear appears in scripture hundreds of times. I, I've heard one source say it 365 times, one for each day of the year. But it's in the sense of do not fear. So we have reminders over and over and over again in scripture, do not fear. So do not fear this world, fear the Lord. And it's an interesting word. It's a word that um, has a couple different meanings, a couple different senses to it. The first sense of the word is servile fear. Now, you don't need to remember or understand that word except for this. It's, it's a kind of fear that we have towards a malevolent master, dictator, somebody that we fear will um, punish us for not obeying, not um, staying in line, things like that. So we're fearful of them. You know, it's like, or you're, you're fearful of a rabid dog in a dark alley. You know, you're going to run away from things and people like that. Okay? So that's the servile fear. And that's not the sense of this fear that we have in Scripture when, when it says, do not fear or fear the Lord. We don't fear God in that sense, that if we don't obey, if we don't follow his precepts, that he's going to punish us in that sense. Okay? The, 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 the sense of the word fear I want to share with you is, is what's called filial fear. And that's what sends you running to that which you fear. And so we, we fear the Lord in a sense of reverent awe, of respect, worship, and we run to him, and we fear him in that, in that sense. We do not fear the world. And if for some people, they fear the world in the sense of a filial fear, where they run to that which they are fear, fearful. I had a professor of mine in seminary, uh, someone I greatly respect, who said this in our first year, one of our first classes, and she said, that which you fear more than God has become your God. And so we, meaning what you ultimately fear, that's what you will worship. That's what you will defend. That's what you will try to protect. For many people, for example, you may fear, uh, fear uh, losing financial security. And so that will become your God and you will do everything you can to protect that. Nowadays, many people are fearful of this virus. And so everything that they do in their life is centered around protecting themselves from this virus. So they're trying to run away from this, but they become overwhelmed um, with living a life that is trying to protect themselves from this. Some people, they're running towards this fear and they're trying to um, gain a sense of social justice or we have all this stuff going on about, about racism and the awful thing going on right now. And racism is indeed a sin. But when we become so obsessed about it, it becomes a God above the God we ought to be fearing. And in Scripture, our Proverbs 9, verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. You think about that. It's the fear of the Lord, which is this reverent awe, respect, love, this joy in the Lord, and this fear that sends us running to him. And it's in him we truly have, um, we have wisdom, just the beginning of wisdom. And in this knowing God, the Holy One, God here, where we have insight. We, we try to find insight and wisdom in so many things of this world, and we will not find it outside of God. We, we, we fear so many different things and people of this world, but we won't find security and peace outside of God in Jesus Christ. So when we fear the Lord, and, and we have this reverent awe of him because of what he's done for us sinners, that through Jesus Christ, it, through, his, through his death on the cross, he, he died for the forgiveness of our sins, and he rose to new life that we may have the hope of the resurrection. That's the God I want to know more. That's the God I want to run to. That's not a God who's going to punish me and whip me and, and do whatever if I don't stay in line, but this is a, a, a God of grace. He forgives. He wants reconciliation. He wants to be this God that people run to like children running to their father when they come home from work. That's who I want you to fear, to run to. Not anything or anybody of this world. Because they can't promise anything. They can't give any sense. 
and lasting peace. Fear the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. Knowing God is insight into everything. Let's pray. Holy and awesome God, I thank you that through Jesus Christ you have given us the hope of everlasting life. May we continue to have this, this sense of fear of you and that we may run to you. And I pray those who are hearing this right now, and if, and if anybody has a another God that has been placed above you, they fear, may that fear melt away. And may they be drawn to you and that, and that they may have wisdom that comes from you and insight in knowing you. You are our sovereign God. You reign on high. I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's your word today and for the week. Fear, fear the Lord and know peace that surpasses all understanding. Great to be with you here this morning. Have a blessed week. God bless.